What is a lone wolf personality? No, it doesn't mean you wolf out whenever there's a full moon. Instead, it refers to people who enjoy time alone, don't mix well with crowds, and value quality over quantity regarding relationships, similar to introverts. You may picture lone wolves as no different than that big bad wolf that eats up Red Riding Hood and her granny, but just because someone doesn't talk much or meld into the crowd doesn't make them antisocial or unapproachable. Lone wolves can easily be brushed off as introverted outsiders, but that's just a tiny part of the story. Here are five signs you're a lone wolf and not just an introvert. You prefer independent solitude. Many people assume loneliness and solitude are the same, but solitude is a choice. Whereas loneliness is a feeling that can persist even when other people are present. As the term implies, lone wolves tend to isolate themselves or build small social circles. And as a result, many assume lone wolves are innately lonely. However, Jonathan Cheek says, some people, such as lone wolves, simply have a low need for affiliation. Like introverts, lone wolves do not need many friends to feel validated, nor should you. You don't need a whole wolf pack to be happy, but having quality friends never hurts. You're introspective and aware. Like introverts, lone wolves are prone to introspection and self-reflection. They often use deep thinking to analyze their own thoughts, actions, and emotions, allowing them to have better control of themselves. They wanna be keenly aware of who they are and don't just look at the good. They look at the bad as well and actively try to improve themselves. They wanna know their strengths and weaknesses and use them to their advantage in school and the workplace. This active introspection allows them to constantly improve and see things in a new light, making them more confident and open-minded than most others. Take a page from the Lone Wolves book and take the time to think about how you can actively improve yourself. You think outside of the box. Commonly known as Lone Wolves, actress and activist Emma Watson and filmmaker Steven Spielberg are recognized as incredibly creative thinkers, capable of thinking outside the box and coming up with new, innovative ideas. Likewise, Lone Wolves are often confident with their opinions and refuse to succumb to peer pressure. What makes Lone Wolves special is that many experience fear of rejection, but they will often still voice their opinions. They value their inner voice and want to be heard. If you wanna be heard, it's time to speak up. There's nothing wrong with expressing yourself. If you find this video relatable and helpful, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. With that said, let's move on to the next point. You're a good observant listener. We live in a world where people love to talk about themselves but few listen. Instead, they just wait to respond. Lone wolves may not be big talkers, but they can be excellent listeners. As said, they are often open-minded and take time to listen and reflect on what others say. They take the time to listen, observe, reflect, and respond. And in doing so, they can provide some of the best advice. This is because they pay careful attention to the people around them, observing and listening while the world keeps spinning. We all wanna be heard, and finding the right listener can be challenging, but chances are they're ready to listen if you find a lone wolf for a friend. You value quality over quantity. As mentioned in our previous point, lone wolves do not feel the need to have large quantities of friends for a happier life. Instead, they like carefully selecting members of their pack. They choose to build intimate connections versus superficial affiliations and often do not hesitate to drop anyone who proves toxic or fake. This may come off as picky, but this choice of friends proves that lone wolves care about who they surround themselves with. They set boundaries and don't appreciate when those lines are crossed time and time again. Keeping boundaries and wanting meaningful relationships should be a priority for everyone. If you relate to these signs, you may be a lone wolf, and that's not bad. Just because you're a lone wolf doesn't make you the big bad wolf. Instead, it makes you unique and ready to write your story. So go out there and see what adventures await you. If you didn't associate with these signs, refrain from assuming they're a threat next time you spot a lone wolf. They may be introverts looking for some much needed space. So please respect that before judging them. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. Until next time, remember to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date on our latest videos. Take care and remember, you matter. Are you used to being quiet, but not sure why? We made an in-depth video about that too.
Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own Psy. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Psy is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Psy plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.